Now the question we're going to answer is how do I do my yearbook page in StudioWorks? So you log on to StudioWorks, you click Pages, okay, and then you're going to find your page number. All right, so I'm going to go all the way to the end. And let's say I'm doing page 76, 77. Over here, I could click it. Okay, I have both pages. Now, what I want to do at this point, I want to know how many pictures I'm going to use approximately. Then I'm going to look in the book that has all the templates. All right, and I can show you the book. It's on my desk. All right, when you decide on a template, you're going to come over here to content. Okay, by default, I have my content showing, but I click on that, and then I come down to templates. Okay, your Balfour templates, and they have different categories. Those categories are listed in the book. Okay, so here are like set photo focused, and here are your templates. Now, notice some are two page templates, some are one page template. If you're only doing one of these pages, make sure you choose just a one page template. Okay, so let's say I'm going to pull this one over. Pull this over. Drop it in. Yes. Okay, now all I have to do is drop pictures in where the image placeholders are. The way I can access my images is right up here, Content View. Okay, so here's Content View. I drag down, drop my picture in. I'm going to click Scale to Fit. See how that looks. Hmm. Sometimes it does lag. Okay. This is great. There it is. All right. If I wanted to use a different picture, so let's say I don't like this one. I want to use this one. Uh, so let's go somewhere else. All right. I'm going to steal their picture for a second. All right. I could just drag and drop another one right in there. And that's how you replace the picture. You don't have to really remove it. You just get rid of the other ones. Okay. If you have these text boxes, you have to use the text box. If you don't want it, Okay, then you're going to click delete on your keyboard. Now, the thing is, if you if I delete all three, then I have this big area of white space. That's not good. You have to replace it with something. Okay, let's say I just want to have one text box. I can pull it up. Okay, I can get rid of it. If I want to have an image placeholder, I just click here, and I can draw a new image placeholder. Okay, try to follow the lines that we have here. Okay, if I want to get rid of a picture, back on the arrow, get rid of that, I could put a text box in here. Okay, then when I'm done, I want to always click on this icon right here. This is an old floppy disk, which is not relevant to anyone born after 1990, but they still insist on using this for saving. Okay, so I'm going to click save, and that's where you save. Okay, so remember, check your spelling, fill all the boxes up. When you're ready to leave, you just click log out. Okay, that's it.